Hey guys, so um, this is going to be a product review on the L'Oreal True Match. Um, I am in color N8. Um, I have to say that I love this product, but at the same time, I hate this product. Like, <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you why. So, um, they say that this product is, um, super blendable and stuff. So, like, I can agree with that. It's super blendable. Like, um, like, even, even if the product is a little bit too, um, red for you or too yellow for you, like, it can blend into your skin. So that's one thing that I like about this. Um, <clears throat> the consistency of the product, it's, like, very, very, um, runny. It's, like, kind of watery. So, um, I personally like that with this product because usually all my other foundations are like really 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 um, thick and like it feels like I have like tons of like product on my face but this doesn't feel like that but the thing that I do not like about this product is that it settles into like your creases and stuff even though I use like um, primer and stuff and it also gets really really oily like I put on this product like um about an hour and a half ago and I used um, my milk of magnesia and then I put on um, this um, baby skin primer instant pore eraser I used to use the um, I used to use the monistat um, anti um, chafing relief powder gel I used to use this because this is a really really good primer um, but I actually got this in a um, in a giveaway, and I really actually like this. But that's not what this is about. Um, so I put my milk and magnesia on, and then I put you know a primer on top of it, um, and that doesn't get me oily at all. Like seriously, I put that on, and then doesn't get me oily for like a good like eight to ten hours. So when I put when I put this on. Within like an hour, I was already getting oily, and I find that really, really strange about this product. Like, I was getting oily, and it was settling into my creases, like around like um, like my smile lines, because I smile a lot, I guess. Like around here, it settles into there, and then like in about maybe like three to four hours, over here it will start to crease up too. So, I don't like that it settles into um, my creases. But, I do love the color of um, this product. This is an 8. Again, let me do a swatch for you guys. Um, I have to say that the... Because there's, um, there's different type of undertones to this product. There's um, a warm undertone, a neutral undertone, and a cool undertone. Warm undertone is more like a yellow... Um, and then a cool undertone is like a red. So, I, I did try the um, cool undertones, but I'm more like a yellow undertone. So, I thought that I should try the, um, the neutral. And the neutral is very yellow. See, that's how it looks. If you guys can see... Okay. Yeah. So I feel like the warm undertones and the neutral undertones are like very, very yellow. But then when you get to like the cool undertones, they're like super, super red. So um, I don't really like like the um undertone, the undertones of this product because it's a little, it's a little bit too like just it's a little bit too much. But. Like I, but I feel like it does like um, match match into my type of skin tone also, so I don't have problems with that. It's just you know if you are like you know not a red undertone and not a yellow undertone, then I think this is gonna be a little bit hard for you to find like your shade because like I don't really feel like this is like an actual neutral undertone. Like it like this neutral has a lot of yellow. Um, yellow in it. I would rate this product out of five, maybe a four, 
only because you know it settles into my creases and it gets oily quickly if I can find something to like not have it settle into my creases and not to get oily then I would rate this product um, a five but um oh another thing that I want to say is that I don't think I can wear this product every day because I don't like it looks that like I'm wearing makeup like it doesn't look like like a natural like type of um, finish because this product dries to a powder finish which I do like but um I don't like how it just makes me look like I'm wearing like tons of makeup like it makes me look like I have like a cake face on um when when I have this because I'll usually like this face that I have right now I'm only wearing like um like one and a half um layers like I put like one layer and then like around like my cheeks I put like you know half half a layer like on so there. what I suggest for you guys to get this product um yeah I feel like you should but it's not something that you should be wearing every day because it's it's just I mean unless you'd like looking like you have on makeup then go ahead but I don't like that it looks like I'm wearing like tons of makeup I want something that I can like put on go to class and like not look like I'm like I spent a lot of time like working on my face cuz I don't I don't like that type of look like I just want something like natural looking and like I feel like this just looks too like oh yeah she put on like a shitload of makeup on so I don't like that um but yeah, so that's pretty much the end of my review. Um, I'm going to make sure I leave down all the product information down below where you can buy this product. And um, I know this was not a sponsored video or anything. This is just my honest review about the, about the product. Um, so make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. I don't know, man.